Everybody here? Hey. All right. Okay. Well, good evening. Thank you very much for coming. Um, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about today about why to take pictures, why you need to take pictures, especially as everybody being parents. Um, when you snap a picture, you're probably not thinking, this is going to be the picture I'm going to look back on in 20 years and find as a, a, an artwork. Or you're probably not thinking that in 20 years, I'm going to look at every detail of a picture and memorize it until it's just ingrained in my brain. Pictures create um, emotion, and they freeze memory, and they, they tell stories. One picture, it doesn't just say a thousand words. The right picture could say a million words. Um, and taking as many pictures as you can now, while life is busy, it ensures that you're going to remember the, the good times. Later, when you can finally slow down and look at the pictures and remember things that you completely missed because life was so busy. Um, and if you want to remember those details, you need to take pictures. There's a blog that I ran up on from Spanky Mills Photography who has four kids. And one day she was looking back at pictures and had remembered a picture of her four kids when they were babies and they were little. And the picture just is so precious to her now because she didn't, like the details of her daughter's shoes were on the wrong feet. And the boys still, her twin boys still had baby hands. And it was that stuff that you don't realize is precious then, but looking back 10 years later, they're, they're great. And the, in the same blog, she talked about how her, one of her twin boys was diagnosed with a bone condition, and, and the only cure was amputating the leg. And so she got home and immediately scheduled a, a family photo session with everybody in shorts and barefoot so that he could remember what his real leg looked like years later. And it's stuff like that, that that makes it important for me as a mom to make sure I take pictures. And and like this picture here, it's a picture of my grandma with Connor when he was one month old. And it's the only picture I have of her because when he was 12 months old, she passed away. And I like it because later on when we're talking about family and Connor says, have I ever met great grandma? I say, well, yeah, you have. This is the picture. You know, look how little you were and, you know, you guys are looking at each other and it's so sweet. And without this picture, I wouldn't be able to show him anything. And then if you also want to try to take pictures of, of milestones, it's, um, it's the everyday pictures, but then if you know something's coming up. Um, when Connor was four months old, we were moving from Maryland to Omaha. And I said, this is our chance. Like, let's take him everywhere because then we can go back and say, you've been to New York City or, you know, you've been to Washington, D.C. And so this picture was taken when he was almost five months old uh, down at Veterans um, Memorial so that I could show him that he had been there. But we didn't know we were going to come back. <laughs> Vietnam Memorial. Vietnam Memorial, yeah. Um, other things and activities. When you're taking when you're taking pictures, like I said, you don't realize this is the moment. Um, and this picture of Connor is our first camping trip two years ago, and he is a boy that loves challenges. And you can give him any challenge, and he will conquer it. And he'll continue to do it until he has achieved it. And on this particular day, he. Uh, who was given a challenge to go around a, a, a bit of tires and like movable two by fours, just kind of um, a uh, obstacle course. course. <laughs> and he couldn't do it. He kept falling. He kept tripping. And Haley got it before he did, so he was in tears, he was crying, and he finally mastered it and I got this picture. <coughs> he was so proud of himself. And I, every time I see this picture, I remember it. And this is a picture of the same camping trip, just to show the age of the kids. I wanted to remember how little they were when we took our first camping trip. Um, and, uh, this picture tells the story of where you are, are in life. A lot of people say, 
I don't want to get professional pictures done until I lose 15 pounds. Or I'll get them done when my kids are more cooperative. But you lose the moment then. This, in this picture, Haley was two years old, Tyler was one, and Connor must have been four. Um, she was a terrible two-year-old, would not cooperate. She was screaming and crying and throwing tantrums, and this is the only family picture we got of that photo session. And she's got this huge pad on her face, and he's all over the place. And I was really upset leaving the photo session because they did not cooperate. You know, we had paid money, and they didn't do what they were supposed to do, and I didn't get the perfect little smiling kids picture. But now looking back, that's who they are. Haley at that time, that was her. <laughs> and, and if I would have gotten a picture with some cheesy smile, I wouldn't have realized that. And the same with Tyler. He's a goofball. And so he's a goofball in the picture. And then I also like to take, uh, you really need to take pictures so that you can track their, their growth. Um, I take pictures in front of our door every first day of school. And this last September I put together a little collage of the two oldest kids. And I have the last four years of Connor starting from K3 to now first grade in the same spot. So I can show the maturity level has changed and the size has changed. And just every aspect, he went from a baby to a, an elementary kid. <laughs> and the same with Haley, and if it's even more astounding, because I think girls just mature so much differently. But, um, and I look forward every year to taking the picture and seeing how much they've grown. And without the pictures, I wouldn't know. I could say they grew three, year, three inches one year, but what is three inches? I mean, you can see, but it's not just the inches, it's the whole body changes. When I'm doing a photo session, I always get, get told that they want to remember, especially the newborns, they, I want to remember this. You know, I want to remember how, young, how little they were. But unless you take the pictures, you're not going to remember because they change so fast. Um, this is one of K Caleb when he was six weeks old. And I'm amazed that just two and a half months later, he's a completely different baby. And I'm just so glad that I've taken the time to, to capture all the pictures, and I love doing that for the clients that come to me. And you just need to be, be yourself. And if you take the time to get, hire a photographer, look at their quality, you know, don't just hire somebody because they give you a free CD. It's not about the CD, it's about the experience. You want to capture you being you. You want to, in this family, that they were playing Dr. Goose. <laughs> and that's who they were. they were. They were a fun family, and we captured them interacting as a family. And I think that's what taking pictures is all about. It, it's, it's about looking back on it and knowing what you were doing and where you were, and just remembering the entire time around those pictures. And with your pictures at home, or if you choose to take your own pictures, take the time to learn your camera so that you know how to take the quality pictures. And you know, you're never going to get the moments back. So if you take good quality pictures, you'll really have something you can remember. And if you don't, you're going to be filled with regret. Thank you. Okay. Here. Where is it?